In Douglas v. California, the United States Supreme Court held that, under the 14th Amendment's Due Process and Equal Protection Clauses, indigent criminal defendants have a right to appointed counsel on their first appeals. But what about appeals beyond the first one, which an appellate court may or may not choose to hear? The court addressed this issue in Ross v. Moffat. Claude Moffat was convicted in two North Carolina trial courts of forgery offenses. He appealed his convictions to the North Carolina Court of Appeals. Because he was indigent, Moffat was represented by court-appointed counsel, as required by Douglas. The Intermediate State Appellate Court affirmed his convictions. Moffat then requested the state courts to appoint counsel both to represent him on his appeal to the North Carolina Supreme Court and also thereafter to file a petition for writ of certiary with the United States Supreme Court. Both of those appeals were discretionary, meaning Moffat had no right to a ruling on the merits of his appeal. Rather, the state and federal Supreme Courts possessed discretion whether to review the merits of Moffat's case. After the state courts refused to appoint counsel to represent Moffat on those two discretionary appeals, he filed a habeas corpus petition, contending that he had been denied his constitutional right to appointed counsel under Douglas. The state trial court denied the petition, and the state appellate courts affirmed. Moffat then filed a federal habeas corpus petition raising the same claim, and the federal district court denied relief. However, the United States Court of Appeals for the Fourth Circuit reversed, holding that Douglas required the appointment of counsel for indigent criminal defendants on their discretionary appeals beyond the first appeal. On behalf of the state, Fred Ross, the warden who had custody of Moffat, successfully petitioned the United States Supreme Court to review Moffat's case.